Hi everyone. This is the voice behind the noise. And I am Myron. The Republic of Uzbekistan is a landlocked country in Central Asia. There are five countries in Central Asia and Kazakhstan ranks first in terms of area. But if population is used as a comparative indicator, Uzbekistan is firmly in the first position. Uzbekistan has a land area of less than 450,000 square kilometers, ranking only the third among the five Central Asian countries, but its population has reached nearly 34 million. This is invaluable and rare in Central Asia, which is dominated by desert-type climates. What's more interesting is that in the international community, Uzbekistan also behaves a very low-key manner, so that it is very difficult to find a real-time news about Uzbekistan in the international information. In this video, I summarize 15 major events about Uzbekistan that you probably do not know about. At the same time, at the end of the video, I will also briefly analyze why the Republic of Uzbekistan can maintain such a low-key style in the international community, and why does Uzbekistan only have the third largest area among the five Central Asian countries, yet it has the largest population. Okay, let's get more details about it. First, Uzbekistan is one of only two doubly landlocked countries in the world, the other is Liechtenstein. What is a double landlocked country? That is, it is a landlocked country, and the surrounding countries are also landlocked. Second, it is puzzling that as a doubly landlocked country, Uzbekistan has only one inland Aral Sea that is drying up day by day. However, they actually have a large naval force with 2,500 people and 20 ships of various types. And yes, they also have the Coast Guard. Third, Uzbekistan is a country with very high gold reserves, and the proven amount ranks fourth in the world. Fourth, what Uzbeks are best at is dancing and embroidery. The Hushian dance, which was popular in the Tang Dynasty in China, came from here. Embroidery is a skill generally proficient in Central Asia. Turkmenistan loves to embroider carpets. People here love to embroider clothes and bed sheets. Fifth, because of religious reasons, people here cannot intermarry with people of different races and beliefs. It is customary to intermarry between relatives, and marriages are generally arranged by their parents. Sixth, with the development of economy in recent years, free marriage and equality between men and women has become the general trend, and the phenomenon of polygamy is not much in Uzbekistan. Seventh, Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan, is located in the earthquake zone. The 1966 earthquake turned the whole city into ruins. Neighboring countries have had similar experiences. In 1948, the capital of Turkmenistan, Askabad, suffered the largest earthquake ever recorded, destroying the entire city and killing 180,000 people. Eighth, the ancient city of Samarkand in Central Asia, the place where Kong lived in the ancient western regions, the capital of the Timurid Empire, is now the second largest city in Uzbekistan. Ninth, Uzbekistan has a high proportion of young people and children, and the country has always had no birth restrictions, and every family believes that it is good luck to have more children. Tenth, 80% of Uzbekistan's land is plain and lowland, but most of it is desert landform. Most of the cities and population are concentrated in the southeast. The eleventh is that Uzbekistan is severely arid and is a place with hot summers and cold winters. Only the winter and spring rains will be slightly more. The twelve is that Uzbekistan was annexed by Tsarist Russia and became its vassal state. The thirteenth is that Uzbekistan is a country with a very developed industry, especially machinery manufacturing. The famous IL-76 large transport aircraft is manufactured by the Tashkent Aircraft Factory. The fourteenth is that Uzbekistan is also a full member of the SCO. The last is that starting from New Year's Day 2020, Uzbekistan will exempt Chinese tourists with round-trip air tickets, but only conditionally, limited to seven days. Okay, after learning about these 15 things. Let's now answer the two questions I asked at the beginning of the video, why is the Republic of Uzbekistan able to maintain such a low profile in the international community? And why does Uzbekistan only have the third largest area among the five Central Asian countries, yet it has the largest population? First of all, the Sir Darya and Amu Darya rivers, two major rivers in Central Asia, pass through the territory, and the rivers bring abundant agricultural water to Uzbekistan. The most densely populated place in Central Asia for Ghana Basin covers an area of more than 20,000 square kilometers, which is the most densely populated area in Central Asia. Most of the Fergana Basin is owned by Uzbekistan, so Uzbekistan has a large population. Second, Uzbekistan is far from great power disputes and has always been politically stable. 
As one of the only two double landlocked countries in the world, Uzbekistan is slightly closed, but it is self-contained, like a paradise. It never provokes major powers such as Russia and the United States. Instead, it is dedicated to developing its own economy. Therefore, the domestic political situation has always been stable, the people live and work in peace and contentment, and the population has been in a state of positive growth. At last, I just want to say that I really admire the steadfastness of this country. Okay, that's all for today, see you in the next video.